Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? You are on the Dixie Bell Facebook page, and I am Tara Rex of Tara Rex Designs. And today we're going to be doing my front door. Um, yeah, so I've got kind of a janky setup here, but um, so there's the one side of it. I did this last night. What do you think? It's got nine colors on it. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah. So, hi, Dixie Bell. Yeah, so it's got all the colors. And today I'm going to show you how to get that look. And I actually... Um, yeah, I'm going to do the front part of it. Usually we have to get an okay from our HOA, but I don't think they'll notice. There's lots of houses in this neighborhood, so. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. I won't say anything if you don't say anything. Okay, so I've listed all of the um, colors that I'm using in the description above, and you can go to your local retailer, of course, or you can support this gal um, and use the link above and it gets sent right to your door and they have such a quick turnaround for shipping it's awesome um, so yeah uh, la, 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 la. so <laughs> so as you can see I've got limeade and I've got Florida orange on here and so far and I've got a plethora of other colors waiting in the wings to be Put up here so let's just get started while I'm painting maybe you guys could you know tell us where you're from if you've used Dixie Bell paint before have you painted your front door before <laughs> I've got a towel under here just so my floors don't get painted any more than they already are <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go with Pure Ocean right now. And as you can see, my door is already like a teal color, um, but I actually cover the whole, I covered the whole, um, the whole door existing color with all these other amazing colors. So we're gonna, so we've got, we've got Amethyst, we've got Peacock, Cobalt Blue, uh, the Golf, uh, palmetto and burn red so all those colors are going to be used today in today's video and I tried to get like the best like yeah the best view uh, I know that I can't do anything about that I'm so sorry but hopefully you'll get something out of this video and it will inspire you to paint your own door or your piece of furniture whatever so I have a ton of different brushes. Um, I will, I use a lot of chip brushes in my work. And I do have to tell you that the Dixie Bell, um, the Dixie Bell brushes, uh, chip brushes are um, amazing. So yeah, I just like how they like, I love the bristles. Um, compared to the other chip brushes, I've used chip brushes for several years and I have to tell you, um, I'm going to be investing in more chip brushes from Dixie Bell and I think that you guys should too because it will change, um, it'll change your, the way that you, um, paint. So, hi, yes, thank you for putting all those colors there, Dixie Bell, and hi in Germany, that's awesome. So. My brushes are already wet um, as I just washed them prior to coming on. And I have a spray bottle, a mister, which you can also get from um, the Dixie Bell website. And yeah, so I'm just gonna be spreading this on. I don't think I need much water right now. <laughs> as you can see, this brush is already pretty wet. Um, and I'm okay with the drips right now. Because in fact, later I will be wanting to go, um, will want the drips to be there. So I, right now I'm going kind of with the lighter colors and 
just really randomly placing them. And um, I originally was going to do the a patina um, on my door, but I feel like this kind of represents patina without actually using the patina products. So if you don't have patina products, I just want you to know that you can get it, get the look by using paint. Um, yeah, so I did do a patina project, um, what, two weeks ago? So if you go to the Dixie Bell Facebook page and go to the videos, you can see um, all the videos that we've all done and um, and you'll see the patina one that I did from, I guess, I don't know, two weeks ago, maybe? Or maybe it was, no, it was two weeks ago. Okay, so I'm using Pure Ocean right now and it's going on very um, translucently, which I'm okay with because I do actually like the color that's existing. And you know what, it's probably gonna get covered up some anyway. So, and there's no, uh, like I started out with the limeade and with the Florida orange yesterday. Um, so I started out with that again today. And, but I think just as long as you, st you start out with the lighter colors first and then progress to the darker colors as far as like the layering process goes, um, you will get a good effect, a good look. So, in like, yeah, I mean, these colors are going to be, it's, it's all layering, right? So, so I'm going to concentrate on this kind of area right now as, um, as you can see it better. Okay, wood door, yes. What would you use for a sealer? Um, gator hide, I'll use. And, you know, it's gator hide provides, like it's water resistant and stuff like that. So um, we do have a glass door here that protects. And then we also have an overhang as far as the, um, uh, like a porch cover. So it does, it gets direct sunlight as you can see but um, I don't believe it would fade it too terribly much. So I'm just gonna go to another color right now. I think I'll go with Peacock. And again, my brush is pretty wet right now. So yes, skater height, there you go. So I've got Peacock right now and it's much, much the same color as the door, the existing color of the door, as you can see. Can you see that? Or is that too low? Yeah, so, but. And I'm using, you know, vertical strokes just to have that look of, you know, it dripping down and, um, yeah, so. And here in a while, I'll touch, I'll go into all like the corners and stuff with the cobalt blue and, um, you know, just to kind of give it that depth perception and the look of just the wear and tear, you know. So like I said, it's kind of like a patina without the actual patina products. Um, I wanted to show you guys how you can achieve that look without using the actual products. You just can use paint if you don't have any patina products on hand. Mind you, they're very affordable, which is kind of nice, um, and available on the Dixie Bell website. And if anything is pooling in the bottom, you know, especially when I start going in with the water, um, I definitely always go down here and here and here, you know, just kind of where the ledges are and try and help that along because I don't want the water pooling. And I 
want the actual um, the paint to continue to drip down. Yeah, this that pure ocean was really wet. <laughs> that brush that I used was really wet. So, yeah, so this is the first um, door that I've done in this, this kind of technique. <laughs> and I, I, I've been looking at our door forever and I'm thinking, gosh, I'd really like to change it up a little bit. And, you know, like when people come to our home, they're greeted with this amazing door and so they kind of know when they walk into our home that it's going to be full of color and whimsy, which it is. Uh, from this point, I can count 13 different paint colors <laughs> on our walls and our ceiling. So, um, so, you know, it's representative of our home right from the entrance. Okie dokie. So I think I'm done with the, the peacock for right now. Obviously, I, like I said, I'm just going to be working on this area um, just so that you can see how everything's done. And I also posted a, a time lapse video of me doing the other side of the door last night um, on my Facebook page. So you can go there and check it out. So now I'm moving into the darker colors um, to be layering over the lighter ones. I've got amethyst, which is one of my favorite colors in the world, actually. I love purple. And yeah, so aubergine and amethyst are kind of my favorites, just saying. And they always say, you know, whatever your favorite color is, you should have it in your house. <laughs> right? Because I run into so many clients that are, uh, they're so scared to put color on their wall. I'm like, well, what's your favorite color? And they're like, well, blue. So I'm like, well, let's put some blue on your walls. So, so I do have a purple wall and it's right over there and I love looking at it. So, hi, um, could you use on metal? Yeah, I believe you could, um, just seal it with um, like slick stick because um, then that will uh, that would give the paint something to grip onto you know give it some tooth and um, and you should be fine Ooh, look at that purple um, hello everybody Portugal Portugal Germany Kansas, Utah, thank you for showing up. Indiana, Kentucky, Michigan, awesome. Yes. So being Canadian, I'm always scared I'm gonna mess up the state, <laughs> the state abbreviations, oh. So this is good for me. <laughs> Okay, so I, as you saw, I just used the mister and I'm gonna push that amethyst up into the crease here and I'm gonna use it. Use the spray, the mister. And see how that, cause this um, peacock was wet. The, the peacock is kind of blending in with the amethyst and it's really creating a great effect a really nice kind of just aged look so and that's kind of what i want and leaving some peekaboo underneath of like the orange and the limeade so the more that you spray the closer that you spray um that will give more of an effect as you can see so if i miss from you know back here there's not much but it still gets the water on it but if i like i said i want to see the lower the um the layers from underneath sorry i'm just going up here if i 
don't see your comments, I will go back and um, definitely follow up. So, and Dixie Bell is on as well, so they can answer any questions. So that's awesome. So ask away. Okay. So right now, like I said, I'm using amethyst and I'm pushing it up into the crevasses of the door frame. And then I spray it. Okay. So definitely have like a rag or something on hand if you feel like you've sprayed too much. Um, and like I said, you want to make sure to like help. This one's already making its way down on its own. So that's great. Uh, but you can help them along by just putting your brush in there because there's lots of water that drips down. So, and then you can even help that along even more. Okay, you see that? So. And I wanted to show you this other look. You can get this effect with using a uh, sponge, but this is, um, this chip brush is very, uh, it, you know, it's not brand new, I guess. See how it's kind of flailed out a little bit? I'm gonna pounce the amethyst onto the door here, and it's gonna give that look of, um, of like a patina, of like a, like this, just, it's hard to explain. I'll just show you. So I am getting quite a bit of paint on, on here, on the tips. And I'm gonna, can you see? Okay, I'm gonna do it down here so you can see. Okay. So I'm just gonna pounce it like that. And like I said, you can use a sponge. And you're not sponge painting, so don't, <laughs> don't freak out, but I wanted to show you this because it gives that uh, mottled kind of look and then you hit it with some water and you because there is a lot of paint it will um, kind of sit there okay so I got really close oh it looks like a heart can you see can you see that oh Looks bad to me, but I guess you're going somewhere. Oh, thanks so much for your comment. <laughs> what am I doing, Sherry? I am um, painting my front door with all different colors and it's going to turn into a, um, like a patina-esque look. So if you go to my Facebook page, you can see the other side and I can't I would show you what it's gonna look like but I've got everything set up because I did the other side of my door last night okay so yes painting <laughs> even my husband came downstairs yesterday and he's like oh my god and so yeah, it doesn't always look great at the beginning and for those experienced painters, you definitely um, you definitely know that there's always an ugly stage prior to um, it becoming a work of art. <laughs> so the, the Florida orange is gonna act as if like the copper from the patina, you know? And this I want to get rid of a little bit. So make sure that you have something under your door, of course, to catch the drips. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's that. And you can even come from the bottom and bring some up here. And I've got the peacock that's still a little bit wet right there. And it's, 
you're going to get a bunch of different colors um, without getting muddy, you know, if you've got some wet colors, existing colors. And if you find that you're starting to get muddy, you'll want to stop, dry everything with a blow dryer or with a um, heat gun. And then you can always, you know, paint over it and kind of start again. Okay. All right. Okay. Looks like a hot mess right now, but you just wait. So I know I'm keeping my brushes in here. In a, in a bag just so because I know that I'm going to be going back to them so um, I don't want to be rinsing them and washing them and all that stuff all you know all right mm. I'm gonna use some burn red so burn red <laughs> when I put this on you're gonna be like oh my god because it's pretty uh, it's a powerful color so I'm going to use a smaller brush <laughs> and yeah, like I said, it's going to be covered. It's all about layering and yeah, so I'm not going to use a lot of the burn red, but what I did on the other side of my door is I went over mainly like the the limeades and then some parts of the Florida orange to kind of give it more depth, if you will. Um, hang on, I gotta get my, my water. And it just kind of acts as more of like the, like the rust kind of look. Um, so, and I just hit it with my water. So that the that the orange you can see the orange through and I'm right now I'm just using a really light hand just trying to move the red around a little bit you see that see how you can still see the orange through that red but it gives that just that extra little layer to uh, represent the rust that's coming through the, with color, okay? All right. I really don't want to touch this, <laughs> this spot because, yeah, the, 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 the drips look so awesome to me. Okay. So, see how that... It's very translucent right now. And that's kind of what I want from the red. I don't want um, like a harsh red, hi, I'm here kind of look. I want it to be really soft. And where can you see the finished door? So you can go to my, um, my Facebook page and see, I showed a little um, snippet from last night, from what I did last night on the other side of the door. I showed it earlier at the beginning, but like I said, all my stuff is all set up, so I can't really close the door and show you right now. But um, Judy, you can definitely go to my Facebook page and you can see it there. And of course, when I'm completely done, I'm going to post, um, you know, a photo there. See how like brilliant that red is. It's very, 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 um, very powerful. So, so I just kind of, I knock it down a little bit with some water. Okay. And again, just kind of helping that the drips kind of follow through, you know? Okay. Using a really light hand. And 
I don't have a lot of the red on my brush right now, which I'm okay with because as I mentioned several times, it's a very powerful color and I just want little peekaboos of the red anyway. Um, but I'm gonna hit up here just to break that orange up a bit. And I'm just gonna pounce that. And just a tip for you guys, if you're doing this on your door and it's, <laughs> and it's closed, just put some like newspaper or <laughs> tape on your uh, door frame <laughs> because you will get overspray. Just, just a little tip, speaking from experience. <laughs> uh, thank you guys. Uh, wintry Idaho, wow, Eastern Idaho, oh boy. That means that we're probably, yeah, we're gonna be getting some winter weather here too. It snowed last night and um, it was pretty chilly this morning, but it's getting up to 50 something degrees today here in Denver. So that's kind of nice. And I was really happy to see that because I could um, comfortably paint with my door, my front door open and not feel like I was gonna freeze. So, so I'm gonna, so as you see, this panel here is just very plain, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna kind of hit it at the top and then along this edge with the red, okay? And I'm not gonna be doing, like just make sure that it's not all symmetrical because then that looks so unnatural. I mean, you know, patina and rust and stuff like that is so organic. So that's really what you want to achieve or try to achieve. So don't do, you know, oh, I did red here, so I'm gonna do red here. Don't do that. Challenge yourself <laughs> to not be symmetrical, if that's a challenge. It's not a challenge for me, because that's kind of how my brain works. I'm all over the place. Okay, so I think that's, I'm gonna leave that there. And you're gonna, when you, you're gonna look at your door and you're gonna be like, oh, I don't wanna to touch this spot <laughs> because it looks so awesome. Yeah, Bonnie, hi, my a neighbor. <laughs> yes, I'm not far at all. And like I said, if you guys have any questions, you can leave a comment or you can um, go to my Facebook page and message me privately if you don't want to share. But like I always say, if you have a question about something, generally there's other people that have a question that's the same or something like it. So, yeah. All right, so I've got the Golf and it is a little bit lighter. So with layering, with layering, you do your layers and then you can always go back um, to the lighter colors. Now I haven't used the Golf just yet but I'm going to strategically place it. I'm not gonna use a lot of it because it is quite light. And, but I think I'm gonna go up here and use it. And I just have an artist brush that I was gonna save for my cobalt blue, but I'll just roll with it. So again, the closer that you get with your mister bottle, the more, you know, um, impact you're going to have with your water. And so it's going to move that paint a little bit more so rather than misting it from back. You know, like if you're missing it from back, then you're doing more of a blending technique. Um, so, but I'm, I'm misting it to move the paint and get like drippy looks. So that's why I'm kind of closer with my, with my uh, Mr. Bottle. Okay. Yeah, because nature is not all about blendy blend. It is organic. Okay. And I'm just, randomly putting some uh, 
uh, what have I got? The golf, right? Yeah, I got, yeah, the golf. <laughs> right. And I'm just helping that move, kind of giving it some tracks for it to drip down. Now, this look might not be for you, you know, on your front door. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> but, you know, you could, and the colors might not be for you either, but you could do it with like a, a family of colors, like, like the teals, you know, you got peacock, you've got Dixie Belle blue, you've got haint blue, you've got um, the golf, you've got um, pure ocean. So you could do it all within that color family and still get a great look on like a piece of furniture or, you know, on a piece of like canvas, you know what I mean? Like for a backdrop, if you're a fine artist, you know, um, this, this technique, you can apply it in so many different ways and really get some good, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Results, okay? So, but for me, I'm all about color. I love my color and, you know, I will definitely be using this on a piece of furniture. In fact, I kind of already have <laughs> several times, so. But like I said, you know, my husband came downstairs yesterday. Our stairs are just right here. And he's like, oh my God. <laughs> and I'm like, and before I could even say it, he goes, I know. It's ugly before it gets nice. It's the creative process. <laughs> Can't we? Oh, thank you guys. Can't see the top panel. Okay, let me, there. Oh gosh, here, hang on guys. I'm so sorry. I knew that and I didn't. Okay. I think maybe. Oh, I don't want to. <laughs> Here we go with my camera again. I have a habit of dropping my camera. Mmm. Things are shifting, y'all. I just need to invest in like a actual tripod. Okay. Ah, eh, dang it. Hang on. Sorry. Hi, Rad. Okay, hang on. I'm trying. And I got my fruit brush in my mouth. So. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay, so that's a little bit more of the above part. See that? Here, let's see. Is that a little bit better? There. Okay. There we go. Oh, I just took my messages away or my, okay. Thank you guys. Okay. So I'm going to go up top again. I've got the gulp and I'm just going to hit it right here. And I kind of put a, it's a little bit thicker of a glob and that's a okay because Hang on. <laughs> it's kind of like when you're painting your nails, you can't really talk <laughs> at the same time because you're kind of concentrating. Yeah, that's kind of what's going on here. Um, so, because in, like, I mean, obviously this isn't natural, but I just want to go for organic looks. And sometimes there's really, um, bold parts of rust and patina. So that's kind of what I want for that spot right there. Okay. Did you see that? Yeah, you can kind of see that like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to try and do is really concentrate on this stuff down here so that you guys can see that while I'm doing it. Cause that's only fair. Okay, so, I'm gonna hit that 
one more time with a little bit of the golf and then I'm gonna go to my cobalt blue and add that because that's kind of a neat color it kind of acts the same way as the amethyst did for this piece you know going up into the corners and adding that depth that look of depth and giving that interest thing all right i'm just getting the excess paint off my brush okay so there's going to be lighter areas and cooler or darker areas okay there we go all right now i'm going on to the cobalt blue and so i've got one one more color to go. I've got cobalt blue and I've got palmetto. Um, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that next. So here we go. Okay, let's see. Again, just going into the cracks here, putting some just on the corners. See that? And I'm going to have some drip off here, some cobalt blue drip off. And then I'm going to really try and hit it up here. And in there and even bringing it down. Because I know that the water is going to pull that blue down, but I really want it to be um, really in there, I guess. <laughs> you guys notice I did my hair today? I did it, I did it for you. <laughs> Usually I've got a ball cap on. But I'm cutting my hair tonight. I cut my own hair. So I'm going to cut it tonight. And I needed to see what I needed to do. Because it's lived under a ball cap for forever. So, But I'm going to the Oscars next week. So I need to get this all done. Make sure I'm ready. So I'm not going to the actual Oscars. I'm going... I represent artisans from all over the world. And... Um, talk with the celebrities and see what they're up to and yeah so definitely follow my Facebook page because I'll be posting stuff there and on my Instagram um, which is Tara Rex Designs so I've been doing it for seven seven years now so yeah it's, it's fun. It's a great time. I've met like Matt LeBlanc and uh, gosh, I can't even think of how many people I've met. <laughs> the creators of Friends, David Schwimmer, a um, lot of cast from um, the Goldbergs and gosh, like there's like some crazy names. Angela Bassett, um, Viola Davis, Susan Sarandon, um, lots and lots and lots of people. So I get to go say hi to my friends next week. So I'm do I did my hairs. Okay, so see how that is kind of pulling down. That's neat, hey? Like it's such a pretty color and it's still moving. It's so, like it's almost um, just relaxing, satisfying to watch your paint move um, after you spray it and see what it does, okay? So I'm not digging this area, so I'm 
going to put some cobalt blue just at the top and then I'll spray it and have it drip down. And I may have to help it. And that's okay. So in the areas that you're not um, digging, just let it dry if you need to and then go over it. Okay. And I'll bring you guys in just to kind of show you like close-ups of certain areas that you can't see from back there. But I think I'm going to just call it for now that this paint dry. I don't know what time it is. It's about what? 1.45. So, okay. here. Oh, good. I'm so glad. That's awesome. Okay. Let's see. Without dropping my phone, <laughs> hey, I did it. Okay, so that's the area that I was talking about, how it was just dripping nicely and it was satisfying. And there's the top. And obviously I'm not gonna close this door for a little bit because I don't want it to, you know, cause this area up top is very uh, wet still. Oh, I'm so glad you guys. <laughs> So look at, look at that. It's so cool, huh? And then down here. So that's, that's the Florida orange with the amethyst dripping over it. And then I put some red really lightly right here. Okay. Yeah, like you're definitely going to find favorite parts of your door when you do this. And I'll show you. This is inside of our door and I might you know there's some areas where I do want to go over again but for the most part this is the that's the gist of it okay so again like right here this is got the Florida orange with a little of the little bit of the barn red over top of it um, to give it that depth and that that richness that comes through and then it's got the um, pure ocean on top that's dripping down okay and I did say that I was going to use palmetto and I sorry I spaced it but I'll show you um right here so I kind of did that pouncing technique right there and so it, you know from afar it looks you know it's got the pure ocean underneath and it's got the Florida orange and it's got some of the limeade and the uh, amethyst and stuff so it kind of looks like it's you know mossy over top and then I also did that with I'm sorry if you can't the sh it's kind of sorry like up here I did that pouncing technique up here and then here with the amethyst so you could really see like the Florida orange and the limeade underneath it there okay so and then I randomly, I you know, I put some, um, sorry, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, right there. I put some of the palmetto there. I just really use the palmetto very sparingly. Um, and just, just as like added highlights, if you will. Um, or low lights, I guess, because they're not really, you know, low lights or the highlights. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. So that's my video for today thank you guys so much for spending time with me and i'll be on next week i think the fourth february 4th at seven so it's gonna be leah rex and then tara rex so it's gonna be tuesday with the rexes <laughs> we're not related that's that's kind of crazy and is it both painters and same last names same dark hair, affiliated with Dixie Bell. It's kind of cool. All right, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.